Beth Simpkins from Rumline. Thought we'd show you Sabatique, a 2004 PDQ Antares that we have listed. She may be a 2004, but her owners who bought her in 2015-ish have um, touched just about everything on this boat. We have uh, new upholstery, new canvas, new sails, new electronics. Um, it's amazing uh, how many upgrades the current owners have done on this particular boat. Um, if we hadn't told you it was a 2004, you probably would have had no idea. Starting in the cockpit, we have all new cushions and all new surround. And the surround is really nice because it um, allows you to open up the side panels and get some air throughout. And there's uh, screen material that can go on there as well. So you can still have a breeze and keep the bugs out. Um, they've done a nice job on their extended canvas to the arch, cushions on the back bench. They've gone overboard with the size of the grill, which is fantastic. And there's a life raft aboard. Moving up to the helm station, obviously they've got a full set of canvas uh, to protect everything. And these are the new electronics that they installed shortly after they bought the boat. A nice suite of Furuno. The uh, Canadian model boats, uh, there were no glass windshields, um, well, except for two of the boats that left at the very end of their production. But uh, most of the boats have eyes and glass for a windshield, and, and owners have chosen to do their um, front windows uh, differently. These folks chose to have eyebrow zippers put in so that you can actually open this up, drop it down, and have just regular visibility through the eyes, you know, instead of looking through the eyes and glass. But yet, if the weather is inclement, you can close it right back up in your drive. For Deca Sabatique, we noticed that the um, style of the main on this boat is your tried and true, fully battened uh, main that drops down into a sail bag. Um, all new rigging within the last few years. Um, this owner has also purchased all new sails in the last five years. Um, Screecher, Genoa, main, um, and there's a spinnaker as well. Along with the upgrades that I mentioned before, um, this owner has also just done a brand new copper coat bottom um, within the last two months. Um, put on brand new AGM house bank batteries. Should also mention that the start batteries are also AGMs. Um, I mean, this when you start to add up what they have spent during their ownership of this boat, um, the upgrades amount to about $120,000 worth of upgrades. Um, so when you start to consider what you need for cruising, I think you'll find that this boat has just about everything and in a very new condition. As far as solar goes, um, this owner has put on 1200 watts of solar, which is exactly what the new boats are uh, leaving the factory with these days. So plenty of solar. Inside Sabatique, you can see that her wood is in fantastic condition as well. Uh, as I had mentioned, the owners have reupholstered um, all of the cushions, so they're nice and fresh. Um, they've changed out the uh, typical helm seat or nav seat to this style, so it takes up a little bit less room and you can sit, you know, entertaining or sit at the desk. Um, they chose uh, Corian countertops on the entertainment center. The washer dryer that is in this was brand new when they bought the boat because it didn't have a washer dryer prior to that. So the Splendid unit, I believe, is a 16 or 17. On the port side, we have the, the, um, the galley. And uh, again, um, a speckled Corian countertop, stainless steel backsplash, three burner stove, um, deep drawers as our standard on all of the, the Antares. Um, this unit has a convection microwave oven. It does not have the propane oven. Instead, they went for nice deep storage drawers. Um, that was obviously an option that the first owner chose and then additional little skinny storage up here, great for cutting boards and tray tables and stuff like that. The refrigerator is again at eye level. Plenty of room. You can stock it quite well between this and your freezer, which is this deep here. Uh, for long, long passages, uh, you can easily provision this boat for at least six months at a clip between canned goods that can go in the storage area underneath a settee, in the pantry, under the beds. I mean, there's, there's more storage on an Antares than you can imagine. The standard second cabin on an Antares is a queen size bed with um, hatch um, and then opening 24 inch port lights. 
so great ventilation. Large hanging closet here. You've got a couple very deep drawers underneath the bed, as well as um, long-term storage underneath the bed. Um, we know at least five of those big Rubbermaid tubs, um, and they could be filled with spares or dry goods or whatever, can all go under the bed and never be seen until you need it. Um, the outboard side has some great storage as well. Um, again, good ventilation and beautiful woodwork. The third stateroom on Sabatique is a little unique. Um, it has the office set up. Now that uh, means that it has a fold-out desk. It has a bed and this actually can slide in so that you have a clear span here and more room at the desk. You have a file cabinet drawer, which is nice. You have a place for a printer, additional storage for office equipment. His printer is in there, all the manuals are up here. And then you have this seat that you can pull out to actually sit at the, uh, at the desk. This works great if you're going to try and run a business from the boat or if you have kids that need to homeschool. Um, it's just a nice dedicated place to come and sit and do your work. We're on the starboard side of the boat um, in the master cabin. Uh, these folks have some upgrades in the stateroom, that being a DVD TV player, some extra shelving, some nice speakers for music. Um, but it all in general, they've got the, uh, the hatch above the bed, hatch in the back, two 24-inch opening hatches, so again, ventilation, uh, very easy to move around the boat, and a fan as well. Um, storage underneath the bed for items that you may not need to reach all the time. Um, and then you also have the four drawers, good for um, clothing, storage here, two large hanging closets, um, shelf units on this side, a couple drawers. I mean, there's, there's plenty of room. At the control center of the boat, we have all of the uh, electronics, or electrical controls, I should say. Um, obviously, your panel, which all of its um, breakers, your 12-volt system, your 120-volt system, and then access to everything underneath here, um, which is nice. Should you ever want to add anything or remove anything or troubleshoot, you, you have access. Um, over here are his other controls. Now this boat has recently been upgraded uh, to a Victron 3000 watt inverter, which is what all the new Antares are getting when they leave the factory, so that's a nice upgrade. Um, AC unit, again, there's three zones of AC on the Antares one main one for the salon, one for this side, and one for the other side. And then these are all your tank watches for your fresh water, black water, um, and then your generator controls, and solar.